coffee pot crater there at the uh, Jordan Crater. One mile. That's a nice off trip, side trip. We're going to go down there. Well, this was one of our destinations here. This is Coffee Pot Crater at the uh, Jordan um, Lava Flows. And um, this is quite spectacular. All that you see out there is this lava flow, uh, probably from that crater. I don't know the entire history of it, but um, wow, it's a spectacular view from up here. All that black lava for miles. It's really something to see. You guys should come out here. like we can walk out to one rim of the crater I don't think they want anybody uh, clear at the top but there's some trails that actually lead up the mountain to the very top we'll see what this sign says I'm pretty sure this is just to keep people in their four-wheel drive vehicles from driving to the top yeah it just says closed to motorcycles and Jeeps so yeah we're going to walk up here to the rim. I thought you were right behind me. Whoo, man, oh man. It's quite a hole in the ground, isn't it? Absolutely breathtaking. And look at the field of lava that that thing spewed. Out across the plains for dozens of square miles. A very interesting piece of lava from this crater. It's shiny on one side. And it's very light too, so you can tell it's porous. Pretty cool. Very interesting, the different colorations and the striations in that piece of lava. It's mostly black, but there's some red pumice in there too. Interesting geological spot. They're all stuff.
you get it? You got the shot? I got the shot, but no, I'm not done. Oh, okay. But yes.
Yeah, we're not sure if it's actually privately owned or not. This is on BLM land, so it might be used by... Well, I don't know. We'll do a little research, maybe tell you. like they're restoring it for sure. I'm hearing the generator run. So there must be somebody here. What a cool old barn that is there, isn't it? So that's the Oahe River there. Evidently there's a takeout down this way, so people must come and uh, raft the river and this is a takeout point. Uh, it's the first, the second week in September and the kids are all in school, so we're hoping that there isn't anybody back here. And uh, we'll be, we'll have a campground that's unoccupied, uninterrupted all night long. Wow, just beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. Monica and I have been all over the western United States and we've been to southern Utah and central Nevada and even southern Oregon but we've never seen anything quite like this place here. This has got to be one of the prettiest natural wilderness areas we've ever been in and it's a historic site and we feel privileged that we're able to come here and see this old ranch, this old water wheel. We plan to come back here often.
Yeah, it's beautiful. Finally, we found some water and some beauty. Yes. But all that time that we've been on the road. Trying to look for water. This is interesting. There's picnic tables here. I don't know if you can... Well, there's a fire ring too. I don't know if it's legitimately a camping spot, but it's nice and shaded here. I don't see anything that says no camping. We could probably park it right here. Wow, we got out of the truck to... <laughs> Start blowing things off. Monica went down and borrowed this broom here from the restroom. And I started blowing and I started itching and I looked down and my, <laughs> my legs were black with mosquitoes from my knee to my ankles. So we got the mosquito repellent out immediately, first thing. But we decided we're gonna stay here at this campsite for tonight, do some fishing. Relax a little. We've stopped early, cook a nice meal. We're home for the night. I'm gonna go fishing in this beautiful lake. Are you fishing, Ted? Yep, we're fishing. We're fishing. In one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. I've never seen something like this. We're gonna camp here tonight too. A little mosquito-y, but nothing but a repellent doesn't scare them away. Once we put that on, they never came back, so that's good. It wasn't like Alaska. There's our tent up there. Fish are jumping like crazy out there. Cameo is loving the water. my bait not my bait because I'm not using bait I lost my lure and it was a nice one and the river ate it yep it was a good one but the rocks liked it Ted says Ted says he's got a fish he's a big fish take that Tim Rumble are you watching? Are you, are you recording? I am recording. <laughs> okay, hold on, buddy. So well, I think that's a brown. Whoops. I'm not sure. Looks like a brown trout to me. I don't know. Your hands are in the way. Whoops. I realize my hand's in the way, but you can't. Yes, I think so. I think he's a brown. So he likes my chartreuse. He does. Trout killer, they call him. He likes it. He likes it a lot. Okay, you can release him. Okay. We're not eating him. Release him into the wild, We're that's right. We're having pork chops tonight, so you're a lucky little guy. Okay. <laughs> pork chops for dinner tonight. Okay. I'm he's... not sure that's a trout at all. I think that might be a smallmouth bass is what that we is. I don't know what he is, but he's a beauty. Here he goes. But it's just absolutely gorgeous. Reminds me a little bit of the Crooked River, but just more spectacular. Hi, Ted. Oh, here we go. What do we got? Whew. Oh, he jumped right off of there. I 
I saw him. I got it on film. Nope, it's working. She dropped it in the lake. No, she fell in the lake and it came out of her pocket. And then she had to hunt through two feet of water. Luckily she saw the handle and managed to retrieve it. So now she's quote unquote fishing. But she's always got her hands full of something else. Because the, the chair blew off the yeah, blew off the bank here right into the water and so did the dog's blanket, so She's going to have a wet bed tonight. Hey, I went and got my fast lens because it's quickly, very quickly, uh, getting dark out here. Um, what a magnificent place this is, though. I don't know if you can see in the background. Sure you can. I'll see if I can't get it to focus back there. There we go. Now I'm out of focus, which is just fine. But the light is fading fast. And uh, we... Are having breakfast there we go for dinner for some reason we bought three pounds of bacon which is okay if you like bacon and we do so we got three pounds of bacon and we're actually cooking tonight so we broke out the uh, we broke out the blackstone griddle it's a 17 incher and it looks like there's about two pounds of bacon on there <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we got the fast lens on the Canon back, but we've already filmed this sequence on the GoPro, so we're not going to bore you with this. Maybe I'll take you down by the river here and let you look. So this is the path down by the river here. The problem is it's almost completely dark, but you wouldn't know that. So I'm going to use the camera <laughs> to find my footing because it can actually see better than I can. So we only caught about half a dozen or so today. Well, I did. Monica didn't have quite so much luck. Look at this place. And I'm hearing the fish jumping out there. And it's almost completely dark. Beautiful place. Okay, we're back up the trail. Whew, feeling my age. It's been a busy day. We've been out fishing and haven't really got much done in the way of setup, although we are completely set up now. It was just almost dark when we got that way. Amazing, amazing place. Oh my, I don't know who we're feeding, but look at those hash browns. <laughs> Put a little butter in them and fry them up till they're kind of crispy and then we'll cook up some eggs and I like them to just put them on top of my hash brown. Me too, but we're not, we're doing scrambled eggs. That's okay. I just eat my scrambled eggs, I eat my eggs on top of my hash brown. Okay. With a bit of sausage gravy if we had some. <laughs> Maybe next time. Okay, there it is folks. Looks delicious. And me, for breakfast, for some reason, I've got to have <laughs> milk with my breakfast. So I'm going to enjoy an ice cold glass of milk here, or a partial glass. There's not a lot left in there. I don't know what we need it for. I don't know where it all went. This is the only time I've been into it. <laughs> you drank some at home. It was oh, that's right. I did. Yes. I, yeah, we ran short at home. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Bon appetit.